Hello everyone. Today I'm going to cover the Dyson hair dryer's bearing and rotor structural design. As you could see from the photo, there is a small blower in the Dyson hair dryer. The small blower is located at the handle of the hair dryer. This small blower is spinning at a maximum speed of 110,000 rpm. This blower has 13 blades. There are two ball bearings on 2.7 millimeter shaft. And these two ball bearings are preloaded by a spring and there are washers in between the spring and two bearings. It is important to have a right amount of preload on the bearings to have good bearing life. And there is a magnet at the end. The bearing outer diameter is 7.5 millimeter. From given geometry, we can obtain the Dyson hair dryer's ball bearing NDM. NDM tells you the surface speed of the balls, which indicates how fast the bearings are spinning. The bearing NDM is calculated by sum of shaft outer diameter 2.7 and bearing outer diameter 7.5 divided by 2 and then multiply by the maximum speed of the rotor this gives about half a million ndm so is half a million ndm a good number the half a million ndm number is a pretty high number considering that dyson hair dryer is using a steel ball bearing and there is no external lubricant flowing into the bearing to cool the bearing temperature down. But as you could imagine, the hair dryers are not operating 24-7, which means high NDM number can be acceptable for sporadic operation. Again, NDM indicates the surface speed of the ball. So high NDM means high inertia from the balls. The high inertia leads to increase in centrifugal forces, which induce high vibration. And high heat buildup in the bearings, which tends to reduce the bearing life. So it is important to limit the maximum NDM. And the maximum NDM depends on its design and application. For example, if you are using ceramic ball bearing instead of steel ball, the maximum allowed NDM can be higher. Because the ceramic balls are around 60% lighter than steel, which reduces the centrifugal forces from the balls. This means less heat buildup at the bearing. Also, the ceramic thermal expansion coefficient is smaller than steel, which induces less stress on the bearing races. Also, for certain applications like industrial compressors, an external lubricant is pumped into the bearing for lubrication, and this activity helps prevent too much heat built up in the bearings. Therefore, longer bearing life. But External lubricant is not practical for hair dryer or consumer electronics. So the maximum bearing NDM for consumer electronics tends to be lower than those of industrial compressors. So in short, the maximum NDM depends on its machine design and application. And the NDM value should be well optimized during the design process to maximize the machine life. All right, now let's look into the Dyson hair dryer design more carefully. The rotor bearing assembly, as shown on the right figure, are installed into the housing. This is an exposure view of the Dyson hair dryer. And the housing is highlighted in yellow. If you zoom into the housing, there are veins and there is bearing bore where both bearings are seated. The Dyson blower design has a cylindrical housing to prevent bearing misalignment. 
Here is a summary of what need to be considered to have the bearings to be properly function with good expected life. First is to have a good alignment between two bearings. To make sure you have a good alignment between two bearings, you could define the runout spec on the housing where bearings are seated. You could start with setting the tolerance range using the recommendations from the bearing vendor. The second and third important design considerations are the fit between the shaft outer diameter and the bowl bearing inner diameter. And the fit between the housing inner diameter and the bowl bearing outer diameter. The bearing seats on the shaft and in the housings and the components which locate locate a bearing have a significant impact on the bearing performance. These fit between the components can be categorized by loose fit, transition fit, and interference fit. And the fit between these parts are largely dependent on its application. Defining these small details make the difference between a good product and a mediocre product. Lastly, the defining the right amount of preload on the bearing enables longer life of the bearing. Today, I've covered the structural design of the blower in the Dyson hairdryer. I hope you find this information useful. And this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.